Hey guys, I don't know if you can hear me well, I think you can. Um, yeah, this video is going to be quite simple and it's going to be quite straightforward. I, I joined the real world, I joined Hustlers University when it was just Hustlers, like the real world, before it became the real world, and it was just Hustlers University. And I joined it when it was Hustlers University 2.0 and it only had like 8,900 people, 9,000 people. I, I saw it go from like 5,000 people to 9,000 people all the way back in the day. And in that time, like from the 8th of, no, in the 8th of February 2022, uh, to to now, I really haven't done anything, and I, it's just I've been a failure. I failed. I failed twice. I joined twice. I failed twice, and then it it hurts to this day saying it. Like right now, I'm I'm like when it, I, I'm I have the work right in front of me right now, and I'm gonna study it as as hard as I can. I'm, I just want to study it for the rest of the night until you know for the next few hours. I would just want to study, 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 study nonstop, and then just try to consume as much information as possible. So I can, you know, try to get a bit of money in. But I'm going to be dead honest with you. Like, I failed. I failed. Like, I, 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 fa I, I joined up Andrew Tate's program and I failed. Embarrassingly so. Very embarrassingly so. And I think about it often to this day. It's just, it's so, it's so ridiculous. Because it, 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 the program isn't necessarily, like, extremely difficult. And, oh, you know, it's really good. It's just like doing the right thing every single day. And then you will make money. But what did I do? I, I, I didn't do anything. I just procrastinated. I just watched YouTube videos. Like I, I, I caught myself watching videos and doing dumb shit today. I was like, what the fuck am I doing? I've already paid for this program. Again, like, I can't do this anymore. My, it's so... Like, oh, man. It's going to be like a few-part video. I apologize. Um, if, like, there's very different tones throughout the video. But, yeah, bro, I failed. Like, <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. I... I joined the program with the intention to make money. I didn't have the hard work ethic. And I, and I didn't do it. I, I didn't achieve what I needed to achieve. And now I'm stuck here. It's a year plus after. I could try to find out the time for you. A year plus after. And I'm just... Bro, it's just... I just saw the... Um, I just calculated it. It was one year, one year, 10 months, and 29 days. I did nothing. I didn't earn any money. I mean, I did earn money. But like I didn't, I didn't, I didn't earn like a life-changing amount, like thousands, hundreds of thousands, tens of thousands. I didn't earn that much. I, I, I didn't, I didn't like achieve my wildest dreams. I didn't start the business that you know that would have made me. Either. I, I have so much stuff I just haven't done, and it's just so fucking frustrating to look back on because I know myself. I know I'm capable of so much more. I know during periods of like school when like everything was systemized. Or you know what? You know when like um, I don't know I don't know about you, but during COVID, everything was systemized in school and. You know, you could just do the online exams and you could do this. But there was like hundreds of online exams you need to do. And so I just did all of them. I studied relentlessly. I, I just did all of it. I followed the system and I became so much like, just, I, 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 I just like, I didn't leave school with like shitty grades. That's why that's why I can tell you a, a, a thing, at least, right? And I, I just, oh my God, it just, it hurts my head. Like the more I think about it, actually, the more it hurts my head. I'm going to be dead honest with you. Because I joined Hushers University. 2.0, when it was still the new kid on the block. <laughs> I wanted to make money. The thought of making money has been in my mind for God knows how long. So I'm just gonna go, um, I'm gonna go um, blow my nose real quick and then I'm gonna go downstairs so I can record this video better. Hey guys, I'm in my kitchen now so I can fully focus on recording. Um, wait, actually, I got something else to do. Hey guys, sorry. I just needed a minute, a few minutes. It took like um, a little break. I needed a few minutes to take a moment away from the time. I apologize, I'm waffling here. I need a minute to take a moment away from the chaos that was my mind. And even though in the real world, what I'm really listening to so far, it, it tells me to embrace the chaos and embrace the uncertainty. Listen. Listen here, guys. I. I need a t I need a bit of time away to meditate for th just for three minutes, and just think about where I'm going about this video. I needed a moment to just relax. I don't. I'm saying I'm repeating myself here, but I need a moment to relax because my mind was so distraught from the fact that I was, you know, consciously trying to recollect how I failed in real time, and all year after, I'm just like, I'm just seeing Tate. I'm seeing. Andrew, I'm seeing Tristan just talk about the real world, talk about the real world, talk about the real world. Never, 
never being able to, you know, push myself to actually rejoin. Because I, I knew deep in my heart of hearts that I would struggle with the work ethic. There's a lot of stuff to do in there. And I would struggle with that because I am not a hardworking individual. I genuinely... It's not, like, it's, not, it's not I genuinely thought this. I genuinely believe this. I know I'm not a hardworking individual. I should be hardworking. I'm not hardworking. And rejoining the real world would mean, hey, you gotta, you gotta fucking work hard. Now you've spent 30, 36, 39 pounds. You gotta fucking work hard, bro. You have to work hard. You have to. You have no fucking choice. You have to work hard. You have to push yourself to the limit. January 31st when it is when the first month ends. It's January 6th right now. I'm busy recording a video. Although this video I believe is incredibly instrumental for me, incredibly important for me because it serves as, you know, another video for my channel, another video for my, you know, online journal. I have to make sure I should be studying, I should be working. I should be working relentlessly non-stop. Cuz if I did work relentlessly non-stop since one year and ten months ago, how much money would I, would I have made? How much further would I have been? How much more successful would I be? How much more happy would I be? How much more fulfilled would I be? Better shape as a result. Respect from peers. Ease of mind. It would be a different world. But what did I do? I chose to leave and I chose to be a pussy and quit. I heard Tate say something that pushed me to the edge to buy it. And although I know all um, purchases are emotional, I understand this emotion, this purchase was especially emotional. He told me, you commit like a man and you dedicate yourself to the program or some shit like that. I was like, fuck, I gotta dedicate my to this program. I, I, I gotta stop. I have to stop. Like, Jimmy, wake up, stop, make the few thousands that everyone else is making, one, two, three, four, five grand a month, ten grand a month that everyone's talking about in this program. You have to fucking do it, Jimmy. I failed, ladies and gentlemen. Bro, I failed. One year and ten months ago, I bought the program. And I didn't do anything. I, I barely studied. I barely executed. I barely did anything. I failed. I had all the information out there. I failed. Everything I failed. Chat GPT could have been my consultant. This, 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 this. Could have been my consultant. I failed, I failed, I failed, I failed, I failed. And it's so distressing to look back on because the only, thing, the only way you can destroy these failures, I'll be done honest with you, is if you just succeed now. If you have this monumental success that surpasses the failure, it becomes extremely difficult to think about the failures in a negative light. The failures only matter when you know that like, you're still in a position where, where the failure affects you in real time. What do I mean by this? Yeah, I'm still, I'm still, like, I feel like I'm suffering the repercussions of my failure to this day. If I just, I just worked harder. If I dedicated to myself, myself to the system, like I dedicated myself to school back in the day. Like, I remember being in school during GCSE times. I was so hard working. I was so, like, I had such an obsessive, monastic focus. Mom would be like, hey, yeah, you should go to bed. You should eat. You should, you know, you should stop studying. I was like, no, I've got to get my grade. And... I got flat nines. It had a new grading system, one to nine, and nine is like an A plus plus. I got flat nines, A plus plus, A plus plus on my online exams. And although you could cheat, I didn't cheat. I had to. You had to like write it down. I was a dumbass in my opinion. I should have cheated more. I should have cheated everything. You know, I, I, I think I cheated. I don't. I don't remember. It's been like three years. I should have. I should have. Cheated, but what I did, I, I chose the honest route. I said, I'm gonna get fucking good at math. I'm gonna get good at English. I'm gonna get good at all my subjects. And I'm gonna fucking, like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this. I'm actually gonna fucking do this. Like, I committed like a, like a man, like a, like a fucking grown ass individual. I remember, you know, that Bert Kreishner guy. He says, there's a moment where a young boy turns into a man. And that's when he realizes no one's coming to help him. The moment a young boy realizes that no one else is coming to save him. That is when he becomes a man. I, under I under understood. I understood that in real time. I understood that in such like vivid detail. I had no choice in my heart of hearts in other than pushing myself to the absolute and utter limit and grinding so goddamn hard that like, I, I had to be successful. That was my, my mindset. Why couldn't I? 
Why can't I just apply the same exact mindset and work ethic to the real world? To make my thousands of dollars, thousands of British pounds, whatever the fuck you want, uh, euros, I don't care. To make my thousands. Why couldn't I dedicate myself to the same way? And it just, to this day, like, I swear to God, from the bottom of my heart, I'm going to fucking do it, bro. I'm going to fucking do it. The rest of my videos, I'm going to finish, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to fucking do it, bro. Honestly, I'm actually going to fucking do it. Because, like, it's just pissing me off. Like, I'm fucking losing hair thinking about this shit. It's, it's just, it makes, it makes my skin boil. It makes my blood boil. My skin itchy. My forehead itchy. My hair fall off. Not only is it extremely stress-inducing, it's also... <sighs> fucking annoying. It's like a, it's like a, it's like a, it's like a, like a, like a spot on your back that's itchy, but you can't reach it because like your muscles are too big or some shit, so you have no flexibility. That's like, that's that's the paradigm I'm in. It's so, like, it's it's an itchy, sticky, uh, icky situation. Like honestly, I think about the time where so long ago, I the, the, the desire to become successful, the desire to become fiscally and financially free has been on my mind for God knows how long. God knows how long. But my, my concerted action towards this has been minuscule. Minuscule. Absolutely and utterly minuscule. And it's fucking atrocious. Like, what the fuck are you doing, Jimmy? Seriously. What the fuck are you doing? <sighs> Sorry. I'm not, I'm not gonna apologize. No, I probably should. I don't, I'm not sure. When you have a failure so monumental, I spent 84 pounds. If I, I spent 84 pounds, um, come to my mind, 84 plus 30, uh, 39. Let's count it up. 84 plus 39. I've been 123 pounds so far. 123 pounds on the real world Hustlers University. That's how much money I spent on it. How much money have I made? For my own business, probably 500. Oh, but that's really good, by the way, Jimmy, but no, 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 no. That is not good enough. That is not good enough. And I chose copywriting. I made my money off e-commerce, which I had to learn the hard way by myself, by reading books and articles online for free. I didn't make 500 with the money inside the program. I'll be honest with you. Right, right here and now. I, did, I have more than enough money to afford another year. I'll be perfectly honest with you. <laughs> Sorry, I'm, I'm breathing through my mouth, through my mouth a lot. It's hard to breathe through my nose now. Make some water. I did it. Yummy, refreshing. I didn't. I didn't make the money in the real world. I made it outside the real world, like an idiot, like a buffoon, like a mo like a. Uh, I'm speechless talking about it. It's oh, it's so embarrassing, and uh, this is why I, 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 the only way I can really say it is on the YouTube. Uh, I can, uh, the only way I can really talk about it is on the microphone app application on my my phone. The microphone application on my phone on the YouTube. Any other way, I would be so go ungodly embarrassed. If someone told me in real in real life that yo you're a failure, you failed uh, Andrew Tate's little Andrew Tate's little course. I would be, I would, my face would turn pink with embarrassment. I couldn't just say, yeah, but I'm like, I made like 120k last year though. Well, how much money? Let's say, for example, hypothetically, I made 10k, and people are gonna call me insane for this. 22 months have passed, and 29 days. Let's say 20, 23 months. 23 times 10,000, 230 grand. If I've made the 10k a month that everyone else has like made, oh I feel like everyone else has made within the program, I would have made 230 grand. I, you know how, you know how fucking better off would I be with 230 grand? 230 grand would save my life. It would save my life. I'm not joking. It would save my life. I don't think I, I, I could. I, I, I'm very, very meticulous with the money, my money I might spend. I probably spent perhaps. Like 1,200, 300 pounds over the course of my entire lifetime. I haven't spent even like two grand on, my, on the course of my lifetime. I'm 18 years old. I made like eight grand total. Yeah, you, you can take my word for it. I don't have any proof to show you. I don't want to show you any proof. I'll show proof later on when I'm big. When I'm big, big. Because that's, like, that's when it really matters. <sighs> Listen. Ah, oh, so, oh my god, sorry, it's really annoying. It's actually hurt my brain, like, that's how annoyed I am. 
sorry, it's, it's, um, oh my god, Jesus Christ, fucking hell, Jimmy, what the fuck's wrong with you, man, like, bro, girls, I don't care, I'll be done honest with you, I fell with maybe 16, 17, maybe 20 girls, we're in a talking phase, she's really interested in me, I say something, I fuck up, um, we're, we're making out, I'm at her place, music's playing, I say something, I fuck up, and then, like, it just becomes awkward, many, many times this has happened to me, Alright, I'll, I'll be honest, I'll tell you right now. I'll tell you right now. I could have had so I could have I could have had sex with so much more girls. I'll be perfectly honest with you right now on the YouTube. I didn't. I failed. I'm an idiot. I'm a failure. But the the real world, the money thing, I I don't know, I guess it's because I have a higher value of money. More so than interpersonal relationships and personal relationships. Whether it's it, whether it's like, you know, fiscally related relationships, whether it's, you know, intimate relationships. I care more about money than all these things because I know what money entails, which which, which, which which entails freedom. Money entails freedom. Money entails less stress. Money entails my mom finally being proud of me. I think that's like the root cause of it. If I ha if I make a lot of money, I can just say to my mom, "Yeah, I made a lot of money month this month, mom. Like, what are you gonna tell me?" And then she can finally be proud of me, and I can finally retire her, and life can finally be easy. But no, I didn't. My 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 purpose, my my divine. My divine rhetoric, I failed by not making money, by not working hard, by not pushing myself, by not daring to do, by not pushing the, the envelope every single time, by doing the bare minimum and, and thinking that's enough, feeling that like that's enough, when it's not enough, my heart says, oh yeah, you've done enough today, my mind says, holy shit, what the fuck are you doing, you haven't done enough at all. Fucking hell, Jimmy. Fucking hell. Um, I apologize. I apologize. It's a lot. It's a lot. I don't want to fail. I want to dedicate myself for the next two months, three months. I want to get. I want to put three months, the one quarter in at least, to the real world. I'm gonna put my everything into this. I'm gonna after this video is finished. I'm gonna quickly uh, put it into a because I know this video has been perfect so far in my opinion. I'll put it into a. Um, you know, video with the gameplay over it, so you guys can, you know, consume the video. You have something stimulating to, like, you know, have your ADHD um, satiated. It's completely and utterly embarrassing. I want everyone to flame me. I want everyone to like tell me the honest truth in the comment section. You don't need to flame me if you don't want to. But fucking hell, I failed. I failed with girls. I failed with the money. I fell with the business, I fell with the, the physique, I, I feel like I fell with the boxing so far as well. I haven't boxed, I haven't been in boxing in so fucking long. It's been like two months. Like, what the fuck are you doing? Like, two times six. Just only six more times you do this shit. A year goes by. And you haven't been boxing? Now, now you're 19, now you're too old for this shit. Eat at my heart, it eats at my soul. Within the next 30 days, I do want to show you prior um, thing, results, flat results, straight up. I want to show you results. Tomorrow I'm going to go to the bank and deposit some more money. Probably. And by the time this video is uploaded, I'll probably, it's, I'll probably up deposit the money already. So, you guys want to try to rob me or some shit? Yeah, you're not going to do it, buddy. <laughs> Uh, it's just money talking, just put it, just fun of the real I don't care about, sorry for expressing that, I don't care about the woman, I don't care about, because, think, realistic, think about realistically, a girlfriend I have now at 18, is it gonna, is it gonna be a thing, like, are we gonna be, like, together forever for, like, the next 10 years? Probably not. But will I, if I have, a, make a lot of money, I make 10k a month now, and I know the skills that are required to make 10k a month, and I retain the hard work that requires to make 10k a month, and I have my divine rhetoric of retiring my mother, making my mom proud of me, my single mother proud of me, she's worked so hard, so hard all her life, she told me in her moment of rage, in her moment when we were arguing, in her moment of frustration, she told me, yeah, I've already like decided, yo, I'm gonna have to do this by myself, like, you're, you're not doing anything for me, you're useless, and, you, and, and people, might, people around me tell me, oh, but you're only 18, so that's kind of fucked up, no, no, I should be working hard, I should be making a 10k a month, what the fuck? It's either now, it's either now or later on. It's not now or never. It's now or later on. 
A later run only happens if I dedicate myself now. Everything is coming like at you. Pause. Everything is coming at you. All the pressures, all the societal, all the societal expectation. It's all not necessarily unraveling. It's all. It's all gushing forth like a dam that hasn't, like you know, been open for like the last ten years. That's why. That's why I feel like it's happening. That's a very bad analogy, in my opinion. It's all. It's all pressing towards you, and you are not doing enough. If you're in the real world right now, bro, you're not doing enough. Within your first, second, third day, you should have made money. That's what I think. My opinion. I. I'm in my, my fucking seventh day. One week in, I haven't made any money. Made any money. I'm a fucking fuck up, bro. I got three more weeks of this shit. It's pissing me off. It's telling you. I haven't made my website. I haven't done, bro. I'm not. I'm done, bro. I'm fucking. The fire has been lit. Will I use this fire to cook my food? Or will I use this fire to stay warm? And procrastinate and like a dickhead? If you guys understand my emotion, my, my, my pain that courses through my heart Then let me know in the comments. I might put my Discord in the um, description as well. My Discord and my not only my Discord, um, me and my my Telegram. So you got we can do like a like a podcast on my server. We'll love to hear more about about what guys. A lot of guys watch my videos, but no, no, no one's commenting. No one's talking. Come on, dude. Um, yeah, I would love. To, I, would, I would love to have a podcast with some of you guys. I would listen to my video. Apologize for ranting so hard. It's just. It's just a hard topic. Uh, it is. It isn't that I feel like a failure. I am a failure. And although these millionaires talk about, yeah, you have to fail, 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 fail. It isn't a pleasant experience. I mean, I guess that's the whole point, right? Because, uh, uh, pardon me. Within the unpleasantness, you get motivation, and within the motivation. You get that desire, that fire, that spark in order to work fucking hard. The answer was always very, very simple. I think it's the easiest ever in history to get become rich. To come like the 10k a month. You have the internet, a, re a, a resource with infinite information. A library with infinite information. If you know where to look, you can, you can get everything. You can get everything. But you have to dedicate yourself. And this is, this is where people fucking fail because they don't dedicate themselves. And I'm one of those people. I'm part of the 99%. And you probably you are part of the 99% as well. Man, it actually pisses me off. It, bro, it pisses me off. Like Every single time I say that shit, it actually pisses me off. Because that hits way too close to home. Way too close. Like, it fucking hits. Very close. Bro, I feel like I'm being slapped in the head hard when I say this shit. I apologise as well if I'm slapping you in the head hard. No, I don't apologise, actually. I don't fucking apologise. I'm saying it because I'm nice. You probably haven't worked as hard. Look, 2023, what did you achieve? If you know you could work harder in your heart of hearts, then why didn't you work harder? What's going on? Fuck! Shit! Oh my god. Hey, 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 hey. I'll catch you guys in the next video. This video is so frustrating to make. I can, I can keep going on, honestly. And nothing's changed. And I feel like nothing's changed. I mean, there's more content as well now. It's much better now. But like, like nothing at the fundamental, like core of it, has changed. The only thing that's changed is that a bunch of money was made, and I was not there. Like, think about, think about the time passing by. A day goes by. A millionaires meet up. Billionaires meet up. Money is made. Things are happening, and you are not a part of it. I am not a part of it. We're both fuck ups. Get back to fucking work. You fucking asshole. Man. I said that about myself. I think about you as well. Gosh darn it, dude. Gosh darn it. <sighs> what on earth am I doing? Okay, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace. Live mediocre, die mediocre. Stay safe, be bitter. Be better, be bitter. Fuck's sake, man. Bro, it's, such fu it's so fucking annoying. Bro, I actually... I, I, 
Like, I feel like... Don't know, you, guys, you guys can believe me if you want, but... Uh, the guy who... He, someone gave me a discount. I think Tate gave me a discount. It said direct from Tate on my invoice. I got like a $2 discount. I joined. I was like 34 quid. Instead of like 36. I'm not like 30, 33, 32. So I got like I got like a two pound two dollar discount. I'm saying like a two percent discount. I don't remember correctly, but I feel like I betrayed his expectations. I betrayed his expectations. And if I do ever see Andrew Tate, or Tristan Tate, or Luke Tate, and I don't know his last name, Luke, I just want to apologize, and I want to show results. That's all I want to do. I, I want to say to them, "Hey, you're unboxing now." Hey, yo, like, I'm, um, yo, like, I, I made a lot of money with the real world. I didn't, I didn't make anything for like a year and a ten, and, and basically two years, but after that, I rejoined and I made like a hundred grand. And now I'm boxing full time as well. I want to be a professional boxer. I have a few amateur fights. I want them to be proud of me. Because even though you might find this cringe, I did see Andrew Tate as a father figure because I really haven't had a, like a strong masculine father figure in my life. And even though people say, oh, he's a misogynist and this and that, like I, I, I genuinely do from the bottom of my heart, I do see him as a father figure. And my mother, my actions so far will probably result in the same reaction from my mother, which is disappointment. And distrust. It's with a heavy heart I say this. But I am a failure ladies and gentlemen. And the only fucking choice is to work fucking harder. That's it. it was, it's with a heavy heart I say this. I'm a failure. I failed. I t I tell you, I was so lazy. I didn't want to cook. I was, I was so fucking. I was, the only reason why I cooked because I was so hungry. Like I relied on the, the 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 motivation I got from hunger. That's the only thing that moved me. I, I remember in cats, um, it, you know, cat owners say, you know, hunger is a powerful motivator for cats. I shouldn't be relying on the fucking hung the the motivation I get from hunger to cook. I should be cooking in regardless. I should be meal prepping, relentlessly. I should be. Turning my kitchen upside down, using everything I possibly can, cook, 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 and then, f like, on, like, on Sunday, tomorrow, for example, that's what I plan, that's what I plan to do. Cook, 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 and for the rest of the week, I can just eat without thinking about cooking. I can just take my, my, my plastic box out, I know it's bad for the testosterone, put it in the microwave, and just eat, and then continue on working. That's exactly what I should do. But no, what did I do? I just, I just lazed around, I ate like shit. I ate high sugar bullshit. Hey, chocolate. And I'm a fuck up. Fuck sake, man. I'm, I, and I'm 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 lu I'm lucky that I'm, I'm understanding this now at 18 years old. But I'm also simultaneously unlucky because I'm understanding this now at 18 years old. I should have understood this at 15. I should have understood this at 16. When I when I, when I fu first started gaining consciousness, when I first started. When I first started joining the real world, like late 16 or like early 17, I when I joined the real world, what did I do? Nothing. Dripped off, procrastinated, watched movies, didn't make enough YouTube videos, useless. This was probably one of my most passionate videos yet. So it just, when I think about it, it brings like a primordial anger out of me. Like, 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 it's something that's hurting inside of my heart. Like a fire is genuinely swelling inside my heart. I feel hot inside. Honestly. And if you ever failed, like, like, failed, like, fallen flat on your face in your entire life, you know what it's like. You know what it's fucking like. And all my friends laughed at me, and I couldn't prove them wrong. I made a lot of money outside. Yeah, sure. But like, deep down in my heart of hearts, I can't say I made it within the real world. I made it with my own business. With e-commerce. So what the fuck? Man, it honestly, like... 
Oh, honestly, it pisses me off so much. Like, I, I kid you not, it actually makes me so fucking mad when I think about it. it honestly, I'm going to end the video here. I keep saying that, it's like my third time saying in this video. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm actually gonna end the video here though. I hope you take what I say to heart. I hope you work with a supreme level of heart. With, with of, I hope you work with such a powerful level of work ethic, with such a with a strong level of ethica to the point where everyone around you tells you to stop. I hope you work with such uh, what such a, a dangerous level of obsession that everyone around you says it's unhealthy and you should stop and then you shouldn't do that. You shouldn't work that hard and because that and then you tell them to shut the fuck up and you get back to work. That's what I hope for you. Because in the modern day, it's so easy to become rich, in my opinion. I see people getting rich all, uh, all around, all the time. I see fucking little kids getting rich on the internet for like doing nothing. <laughs> Taking a shit on the toilet. I see, uh, I see young men like lazing around doing absolutely nothing playing video games. Saying that they're lonely, but then they're playing video games 10 hours a day. Like, of course you're fucking lonely. I remember, I remember one of my childhood friends, that's a girl, she's like 15 years old. Like, she had a guy, a guy who had a crush on her. And he looked like such a fucking heat. I was like, yeah. And then I, she's like a little sister to me. But, and I said, bro, don't, don't fucking, don't, don't date this type of guy. This is, this is horrible. He, 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 he's, he's a useless idiot. He just plays video games all day. She, she heeded my advice. Didn't date him. Lo and behold, after fucking three years, he's still playing fucking video games. And he talked about lonely. He, he, he said to her, he shot his shot by saying, you're so lame, I can't lie. And I was like, what the fuck is this going on? What is the state of young men? Young men are fucking useless and weak. I'm one of those young men. I am not, I am not good enough. And it fucking pisses me off to the core, bro. It pisses me off to the fucking core. It makes my heart boil. It makes my blood boil. Honestly. Fuck. I hope in my heart of hearts, you listen to this video, you watch this video, maybe you're, you're going to the gym, you're working out, you're watching this when you're driving your car. Bro, fucking work hard. Don't stop. 12 hour days. 10 hours sleep. 2 hour eating food. Taking a shit. Work all the fucking time. That's what, that's what I really want for you. Oh but, oh but Jimmy, but if you work all the time. No, fuck off. Like, we're gonna get this bro. 2024, we're gonna fucking get this. Fuck that shit bro. I'll see you guys at the top. Peace. Live mediocre, die mediocre.